Right, let's look at another calculation here. We've got some double your odds in tonight's Champions League match between Atletico and Man United. We've got both teams to score. Ronaldo over one shot on target and over three cards was five to two. Bet up to ten pounds. Now five to one. So William will make this look like a good bet. They've got a low bet limit on it. They've doubled the odds, but is it any good? Well, I know from experience some of these are huge, some of these are marginal, and quite a lot of them are negative EV. William Hill do a good job of mixing it up. Let's have a look at this in the calculator. So the first component, let's bring up Atletico versus Man United. We've got a bunch of different databases. We're going to use XG. We're going to do each team to have over zero goals. So that's both teams to score, 1.95. Over here, we're going to add a bet component. It's an and because it's the multiplication of three things to happen. And we're going to use shots on target now. I'm going to pick up Ronaldo to have over one shot on target. And finally, the third component, another and. We're going to pick up the cards and the total in the game to be over three cards. And here we see that the fair odds are 6.98. William Hill are offering 6.00. It's a really bad bet from William Hill. Regardless, I can... Save this bet. Now, the bot has a good attempt at auto-naming, but once the bet has a few constructs, it can get a bit complicated. It's got all of both teams in Atletico Man United over 0 0.5 goals. Atletico Man Madrid versus Man United, Cristiano Ronaldo over 1.5 shots, and Atletico Madrid versus Man United over 3.5 cards. We can simplify that by copying what William Hill used and just typing in some double your odds and pasting the bet name here. Um, it's at William Hill. Now, I've got a few choices here. I can monitor this bet over the day. It's at odds of six. I can send this to the public tracker and everybody can see it. I can send it to the private tracker and only I can see it. I can send it to the online tracker. This bet's actually available online and in shop. And um, these double your odds. So I'm going to save that to my private tracker, right? Nobody else can see this. So if I've got a particular edge, I can keep the edge for myself. Uh, we see down here, this first bet's come up. And this will track the fair odds over the day. So as uh, XG changes in the game, the both teams to score will change. That will update. If Ronaldo shots on target changes, perhaps um, after team news especially, then this will track the markets live and change. And if the cards also, if the markets change for them, then these fair odds will update. We've got a little updated field here. The EV is terrible. It's 85.93%. This just simply isn't going to be good over the day, but we can monitor it anyway. Um, uh, if I go to the bet tracker. So this is the bet tracker here. I've got all my filters on. So online's on, shop's on, private's on, public's on. Let's just turn public off and that will just be my private tracker at that point, right? So I've only got one bet. This is my private bet. And I see that back odds of six, fair odds of 6.98. Nobody else can see this. It's just sitting in my private tracker and I can monitor this over the day. So have a look at another one. Under your odds, they've got some specials at the bottom, usually. Haven't actually looked at these yet today. Betting Hub and Foot Yakums, right? So, uh, the first one's over two goals, each team over one card and over five corners. That's fairly standard. So let's get rid of the shots on target. Over two goals, so not each team, but total over two goals. Um, each team over one card. Each team over one card. And over, was it five corners in the match? And the odds are 5.0. And we see here that we've got 5.5. .5. So again, another bad bet, but we can monitor this. It's a little bit better than the double your odds. So again, we can put this in. If we're going to paste in the bet, don't forget to tell yourself what the game is, or you might forget. So let's say um, Man United game. The odds were five this time. And again, 
it's available online and in shop, and I'm going to save it to my private tracker. Save. There we go. And the last one now, with uh, Ronaldo to score and Ronaldo to be carded. Um, well, to be carded, there's not, uh, there's never anything in the markets and the exchanges this morning. So I'm going to use top price at the bookmaker for both of these just to show the functionality. Uh, odds are 15.0. So for this, I'm just going to give the page a reload. Sometimes that's just the quicker, quickest way of uh, resetting the calculator. And um, the stat I'm going to change from advanced calcs to best bookmaker price. The Champions League, the Man United match. Um, anytime goal scorer, Ronaldo. And I'm going to use 5% markup on that bet. With an and change anytime goal scorer to, to be carded. Again, let's pick up Ronaldo. And for carded, I'm going to use a 10% on that particular market. And we see we've got 13.73. So this is very much dependent on how much juice we're adding. I can make it a little bit more pessimistic if I want to. But still, with 10% on top of top price, that is arguably a good bet. So that's a footy Ackham's special. And again, we will monitor this over the day. At footy Ackham's special. And paste in the, paste in the bet. There we go. Odds of 15. This time I'm going to put it to the public tracker. And again, it's at William Hill. It's also available in shop. Let's save that. So this will monitor the top price at a range of bookmakers over the day. And if Ronaldo to get a card or to score drifts at the top price at a bookmaker, this will drift as well. If it steams, this will steam. Top price with 0% markup could be argued to be fair a lot of the time because the top price is often an outlier. And we're talking about large data sets here, of course. You could always point to one market and say, well, that's slightly under the exchange. But over a large data set, top price with 0% market is roughly the same as what would be on a liquid exchange. And so to add in 10% to both components of this bet and for it still to be plus EV, Suggest that I might want to bet on this. If I pop back over to the tracker, um, if I refresh my private tracker, I've got public off. I see the first two negative EV bets. If I turn private off and put public on and then filter by William Hill. Here I see that on the public tracker that everybody can see, I see this Futiakum special Cristiano Ronaldo to score is right here on the public tracker.